Hello guys, there is Yoda. And today we got another semi-final. We know already that Otto made it to the finals. And we're gonna find out who will be next, who will be fighting with him in the finals. So today we got Nathan playing as Goblins in Teal and Maka playing as Grey Man of the West. Maka was trying to create, I think, Barak over here, but those bats got lure of the, over the Barak and he wasn't able to succeed it as well as this time. So Maka definitely is a uh, few steps, uh, I mean, a few seconds away from his opponent. He's uh, at last created a Barak. Unusual scene <laughs> to use bats like that to um, avoid uh, creation of the Barak's and other stuff from your opponent. Anyway, Maka created another farm in the front of his base while uh, Nathan got his Goblin Cave as well as first uh, tunnel on the side. Goblin Warriors will pop out while Maka already get his uh, Barak and create some Goblin Gondor soldiers. Nathan is going for another Goblin Cave while his opponent is trying to create some more farms, I think. Yeah, we can see more farms from um, Maka at the moment. But wait, he decided to cancel it at the end. He's going for tower guards for creeping purposes. So Nathan has popped out some more goblin warriors in the meantime. And he's moving with a builder on the left side near the troller and workler on the side of his opponents to create a tunnel, of course. Goblin warriors on the side near the middle chased by Gondor go soldiers. Oh my god, too many G on those names. Goblin Warriors, Gondor Soldiers, come on. Okay, Gondor Soldiers chased uh, still on those uh, Goblin Warriors. Uh, Maka was uh, unaware and now he's moving towards enemy's base. Here we go with another Goblin Warriors battalion. They will be definitely trying to protect uh, Nathan's base. There is the only tun tunnel that is unprotected at the moment. Nor even a fortress prote protect this tunnel. Here comes another Goblin Warriors battalion and the fortress uh, dealing some kind of damage and getting one of those uh, Gondor soldiers so this uh, tunnel will be definitely in shape, still standing strong. In the meantime Mako is able to destroy uh, and take the treasures from the Warclaw. He was avoid those gobl uh, Goblin Warriors as well. He is attacking on the side. Uh, of course he will not succeed it as we can see he is ended defensive stance get heavy beaten by a fortress and now we got even goblin archers will definitely clear up gondor soldiers now it's time for nathan to create spider pit uh, he's still moving uh, towards middle with goblin warriors uh, while he spotted those tower guards trying to get a metal warclaw on his side and he would try to mm, take some treasures maybe from this warclaw here comes uh, Goblin Archers, so it's uh, definitely good to take down those uh, Gondor soldiers. Here comes uh, Bats and uh, Forest. Gondor soldiers have been killed, and what is going on over here? Oh my god, two treasures goes to Nathan because of two, two little Goblin Warriors. Unfortunate for Maka at the moment. Nathan is going from the left side as well from this uh, tunnel over here so we can deal some damage towards the farms on a side. And in the meantime Maka get his archer range and he swap out some Gondor archers as well to protect his base. He got, Nathan got level 3 goblin archers so it's pretty, they are pretty heavy. They are dealing defini definitely a great amount of damage towards his opponent's army. Level 4 for them so they are even, even better. Two battalions of goblin soldiers chased after the, those uh, Gondor soldiers. You can see how it's difficult to poke goblin, goblin and Gondor in the same time. Anyway, Gondor <laughs> archers are uh, trying to go through the middle, get access to those uh, goblins over over here from Nathan, but it wasn't available. And almost Nathan got almost goblin spider riders. He'll get towards metal with goblin warriors um, and goblin archers. They're pretty good in uh, level level four for them, so it's pretty heavy. While uh, Maka got uh, Gondor archers on level two, both of those battalions. 
and he's not creating units. Here we go with some tower guards, but I don't think so. The tower guards are a good idea against goblin warriors. Goblin archers has been spotted by Gondor archers, and they got to retreat. They will be heavy damaged at the moment. You don't want to lose goblin archers like that. Oh, actually, one little goblin still alive, so it's okay. Spider Raiders appear dealing damage towards uh, Gondor soldiers and they will move forward maybe towards those archers and yeah They will clear them up a bit at least More and more goblin warriors in the middle and another battalion of goblin archers will appear and uh, Goblin Riders decided to move towards uh, the middle to move towards the barrack destroyed maybe Another goblin uh, spider raiders battalion up here. Gondor soldiers defend get destroyed over here. And as well as those archers will be killed. Now it's time only for goblin archers to deal damage towards tower guards. Nathan is moving forward towards enemy's base, uh, getting more and uh, more. Power points from the farms. Here comes a uh, man of downland from him. And it looks like this barrack will be definitely destroyed by man of downland. Um, Mac is trying to create his uh, stables at the moment, but I don't think so. It, it will be succeeded anyway. Two battalions of go goblin riders appear. He's decided uh, to create a barrack. Here comes another one from him, but he decided to cancel it. Uh, lots of decisions have been made, but he's not uh, aware what to do at the moment. Gunnar Archers on the side as well, definitely trying to protect his base. Maka is trying to create a farm that was cancelled already by Nathan. Spider Raiders get into the um, Gondor Archers battalions on the side, so they will be definitely killed entirely. Mac as a builder was forced to create a wall hub as well. And I think his base will be definitely demolished. Whiteman of Downland on the barrack as well as on the archer range. So they definitely will deal enough damage towards his opponent. Maka will lose as well farms. More and more goblin warriors appear on uh, to deal damage towards his opponent. Maka losing his archer range. Almost losing his barrack. Uh, Nathan is going with three battalions of goblin riders towards the farm on level 2, the first farm that the Maka was able to create. Maka will get Boromir from the fortress, but it's definitely a little bit too late for him to get him a farm from level and level 2 will go down. Maka is trying to create another farm as well as Barak, but Nathan decided to go straight for the fortress and do not care about builders at the moment or anything because his opponent doesn't have much, he got only one farm over here another in creation and he cre he's trying to create Barak as well. He got of course Boromir but it's not that, that big a, of a deal. 10 land will be used by um, Nathan over here. Maka got his uh, land, he should definitely try to repel it. Level 2 for Boromir at the moment. More and more goblin warriors appear uh, as well as Gorlik. On uh, the middle, from the middle, goblin spider riders appear as well. Fortress get heavy losses. Here comes uh, Tom Bombadil war on goblins. Uh, here comes as well forest. And this Tom Bombadil with Sonic Song will deal some kind of damage. It's a little bit too late. Sonic Song will be used, but uh, fortresses go down. Almost dead. Boromir on the on the field. Uh, forest will be used as well by him. But he got on level 2, he doesn't have even level 3, Boromir will be killed, as well as um, Maka's last building, that is Barak, will be destroyed. And Maka have been defeated in the first game from their semi-final round. A pretty smooth and fast game from both sides, uh, I would like to thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Bye bye.